Happy New Year everyone, hope you've all had a great Christmas and break. Let's waste no time jumping straight into all of the Forza news that you guys are subscribed for. Now for Forza Horizon 5 Series 29, the Community Choice update has begun today. I have already covered this update in full in last month's uh, December video. If you haven't seen it, check that out. Well, I will cover part of the update in this video that I did miss from that previous one as well as a feature that's actually been kind of delayed until update 30, which is the next update, Lunar New Year. Now, before we get started, code giveaways, as usual, here are the latest winners. I've messaged them all on Xbox. If they don't reply, I'll pick more people. I still have more codes to give away anyway, so make sure that you're subscribed, comment your game attack, and I'll just pick people at random every couple of videos or so. Same goes for any future car packs. If there are any future car packs released into the game, I always give away four or five codes. So, so Series 29 Community Choice begins today. Now we have the graphic that shows what's coming. We have covered all this in detail before. But one thing which is really bizarre is because it was a Community Choice update, us as a community, we voted for what we wanted in this update. It was an update that we made from our voting. Now we voted for 10 cars to return to the game that were previously exclusive reward cars. Difficult to obtain cars. The 10 cars that won were these here. Now these were supposed to be part of the community choice update and while they technically are, they will not be available in the auto show until January the 30th, which is actually update 30. So yes, we have 10 previous reward cars returning to the auto show that will be purchasable but it won't be until the next update anyway. So you've got to wait till Series 30 for that, which is strange. I can imagine this is because Series 28 and Series 29, which is now, was all bundled into one update at the beginning of December. I can imagine they can only add cars to the auto show at the beginning of an update. So they had the choice to either give us all these cars in Series 28 or Series 30 and they've obviously opted for that. Other than that though, what else has been added to the game today? Two badges, we've got 16 returning evolving PR stunts, four danger signs, six trailblazers, two speed zones and four speed traps. We've got eight festival playlist reward cars and the 10 cars we just spoke about. Having a look at the festival playlist, these are the rewards for the full series. These are the rewards for the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and that's it. There are two new cars in each month. Here's what the Ford of On Shop looks like this week, next week, the week after that, and the week after that. That is pretty much everything in Series 29, everything else we covered in the video before. Now, as we can see, the next update begins on the 1st of February, which is the Thursday as usual. But because it says that these auto show cars will be available on the 30th of January, which is a Tuesday, it's safe to presume that the update for the next update will be on the 30th of January, which means that the live stream telling us all about the new Lunar New Year update will be somewhere between the 22nd and the 29th of January at the very latest. So it's actually only a few weeks until we hear fully about the next Series 30 update. There's not really much we can guess about the Series 30 update, just everything we covered in the previous video. It's going to look something like this the new collectible is probably one of these things as that's very much in the right theme the dragon drone show will look something like this that's about as much as we can guess for now really and the new cars could be anything now the leaked car list is now two years old it was pretty much around two years this month that i first created this leaked car list and kept track of it now i'm not saying this list is a hundred percent accurate in every leak we've had but it's close enough. Because of the latest update, the Pagani Huayra and the Koenigsegg CCX can now be ticked off the list, which means that we, if we tally this up and look at how accurate this leaked car list has been over the past two years, 55 out of 138 leaked cars have eventually been added to the game. That is a pretty good success rate. One in every two or three cars that were leaked have eventually been added and it's safe to say that with how many more updates we can expect for horizon 5 there's probably plenty more on this list that will come in the future but it's good to see that the leaks are still staying accurate you know i like talking about leaks it's satisfying stuff it's intriguing it's nosy and this list has proven to be fantastic so far maybe the lunar new year series 30 update will tick a couple of more off this list we'll have to wait and see 
Now I want to show you guys something really really interesting and that is the current Forza Horizon 5 player base numbers. Now through Steam, Forza Horizon 5 is on Steam, you have the ability to see just how many players are playing at any given time. You can't do that on Xbox so these numbers don't include Xbox players which will be 99% of them. But if we have a look at the past three months for Steam Forza Horizon 5 players, it's had a weird big increase in November and mainly December. We can see that back in October and for the majority of November there was maybe five to eight thousand players on at any given point on average. Well starting at the beginning of December, especially towards the last few weeks of December, there was quite consistently over 20,000 players on at any given point. Now that is quite a big increase for, is it for no reason? I don't really know. We did have quite a good December update that might have brought good players back. The January update is said to be a little bit weaker. It's a community choice update. It's all right, but it's not the most exciting one in the world. So we may see a bit of a drop now, but something is causing players to just flock to Forza Horizon 5 lately, which is fantastic to see. If you're a Horizon 5 fan, you want to see the game doing good because that just means more good things for the future, future updates and new games. Now, some would say, oh, it's because of the holiday season. Kids are at home rather than at school. Have a look at Forza Motorsport. Now, this is quite a depressing thing to see, if I'm honest with you. Since October and November, it's only been decreasing at quite a rapid rate to the point where the 7 to 24 hour peak is 794 compared to the 24 hour peak of 22 and a half thousand for Horizon 5. I have nothing against motorsport. It is a bit of an iffy game. It maybe wasn't what some people expected. It's here to stay. This player count could increase as the games get better and it could be in the tens of thousands. But at the time being, players are not flocking to that game as much as they are for Horizon 5. Community choice update is a bit of a weak month, as I said, so I expect to see bigger updates and the updates that we like and know. To start again, starting Series 30, which is the Lunar New Year update. I'm intrigued. Please do let me know in the comment section below. Are you still a consistent Horizon 5 player? Are you a motorsport player? Are you swinging towards one more than the other lately? Because the numbers are definitely telling us that Horizon 5 is still thriving. Motorsport is not. Now, the second Golden Tank Awards is almost coming to an end. The voting ends tomorrow, as you can see here, for all of the categories on screen. Now, these are some of the best events available in Forza Horizon 5. So if you just want to play some really good event lab creations, go to the link in the description or the link that's on this Twitter post, and it'll take you to the forums where you can see all of the nominees and all of the events. Go and play some of the share codes. Some of them are honestly really cool. And also make sure you vote as well. 500 people have voted for this category. 500, a game as big as Forza Horizon 5. 20 plus thousand daily players just on Steam and only 500 people have voted over the past few months on an award thing. So I, I think I think more people need to be flushed to the forums. So let's try and get this into the thousands. That's everything for today, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you all later.